this is American holly. How I know this is A, the, the smooth bark. This is very typical of ho holly bark. It stays smooth even when they're large. But also the most noticeable thing of it is it's an evergreen plant. This happens to be a male plant. The female plant has a red berries on it. The holly has broad leaves, unlike most of the evergreens you're familiar with that have needles. The leaf itself is a single blade and has these long prickles. One, two, three, four, five. Sometimes it's four. We have here a American beech. Very shade tolerant tree that's really common all across the state of Maryland. You find it in the understory and sometimes it'll form a MX stand. Very smooth bark, somewhat similar to a holly tree, but smoother. The terminal buds on American beech are very long and very pointy. What we have here is a northern red oak, Quercus rubra. And it's distinguished by a leaf that's fairly large, fairly shallow sinuses, but bristles on the end. All the red oak family come with bristles. The white oaks don't have bristles. The northern red oak is very glabrous, means no hairs on upper or lower parts of the leaf. Instinctively, the bark has these long plates on here that are very smooth. The acorn has a cap that's flat, smooth on top, and the acorn itself will be about an inch long. We have here a sweet gum, very common tree, especially on the coastal plain. The uh, bark's broken up in like little, small little strips. But what's very distinct about it is the leaves are very star-shaped, five lobes to them. This is one of the trees that has alternate branching habit, every other side of the, of the twig. This is a multiple um, capsule. It's a multiple fruit, so the seeds are in these little capsules that are all stuck together, but also have sh sharp edges to them. This is a flowering dogwood. It has opposite branching. Others are maple and ash and occasionally buckeye. The branching is opposite because the branches and the leaves come off on the opposite side of the twig. It also has flower buds like an upside down onion. Very distinctive bark, kind of broken up, has an alligator shape to it. This is a tulip poplar or yellow poplar, one of the most common trees in Maryland. It has a long stem and very few branches. It grows up like an arrow. Very fast growing pioneer tree. Pioneer trees are, are trees that will invade an open area like a, a meadow or a, a farm field because it has a wind-blown seed. These uh, seeds will spread 300 feet. These are Samaras, very distinctive winged seeds. They form an astrobulus, a kind of a cone shape at the end of the branches. They will persist on the tree long into the fall. The leaf is very distinctive, almost has a tulip shape and has two lobes off each side. The last things you want to do when you, when you leave the woods is check for ticks. Check along your waistbands, uh, folds in your clothes, make sure you don't have any in your hat. Mm -hmm.